Minister of State of Finland, and also the Chairman of Board of Directors of the Trust for Victim. as long as you have the guts to do it and you have the inspiration to do that. But I think in the, to, 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 your, to your status, to your advantage, with your current status, I think you're already successful. <laughs> I have of course had a lot of things like being the world's first female uh, defense minister and, and having been quite successful in presidential elections for my country. I didn't lose much. And 46 percent in the final vote, but um, uh, and then of course the international career with the, uh, with the United Nations. I was in charge of the UN mission in Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, and had done a lot of reports about the situation of women, especially in war and conflict. Uh, so you have uh, professional experience, wide experience about women empowerment in Africa. Asia, all over the world. All over the world, yes. And in one way, they are very similar. Um, the requirements are the same, but the way of uh, how you look at power is a little bit different. And uh, I think it's important that whoever is elected by the people must understand that power is not for myself. The power is uh, given to me to make to have the power to make things better for those who have elected you. And sometimes it's uh, uh, parliamentarians are forgetting it. Thank parliamentarians you. and ministers are forgetting it. Thank you, Minister. And uh, I want to ask you some questions about this women empowerment because uh, today is, uh, is the fourth day of the International Women Conference in Finland. Now, you know, what are the roles the Finnish government is playing in the empowerment of women? I would say that uh, it's a long road we have taken with uh, creating a social security uh, uh, through cooperation between women in politics that we really can be working outside our homes, that we have a, a, a guaranteed daycare for children and so on. That goes, of course, for men too, that fathers can, can stay at home. And many are doing that. And, uh, uh, so I would say that cooperation has been very important for women to come to that, um, that platform we have today. Yeah, but during your speech today, you spoke about the gender inequality. And uh, what, uh, what is Finland playing in enhancing the roles of women and promoting gender equality? Uh, I would say that we try to give our examples to other places, to other countries, that um, we have a quota, a gender quota, and we have to remember that that's not for women. Gender is men and women. So our quota in the law says that for that there should be at least 40% of that sex that is less representative. So it can be men too. Uh, we have in some uh, committees, uh, in, uh, in, uh, both in municipal committees and in parliament committees, uh, we have uh, uh, been, been forced to, uh, to get some more men because there have been too many women, more than this uh, uh, 60 percent. Do you think the, the awareness of uh, gender equality is receiving attention uh, of the society and its current space? Uh, I think that uh, gender equality will never be should not, because men and women are different. So, uh, so it's only a, a, an equality that is an equity, uh, so that we are having the same rights to, for, to promote ourselves, to be in different positions, but like in the home, uh, some
sometimes uh, the family is sharing uh, what should be done in different ways. I'm an old woman in my household. I did absolutely everything. My, my husband was a lot with the children, but didn't make the cleaning. And I don't think that I was in equal because of that. But it's a question of, of uh, and I love if a man is opening the door for me. It's not a question of this, but it's a question of that men and women should have the same salaries, they should have the same opportunities, and, and that is the equality, not uh, a lot of silly things. Yeah, that, and uh, when I was small, I had it in my country, in Nigeria, I said that what a man can do, a woman can do better. Yes, and, yes. And I, sometimes. Yeah, and you said that a woman is a man with a woman. Yes, that yes. A woman is a man with a woman. So but there are some things that we are, if I'm taking myself, I'm driving, driving uh, uh, 50,000 kilometers a year, driving here to Zampere too, but something I can't do that we, when it's time to reverse. And then I often have to ask from a very tight place, I'm asking some of the young men around, can you take, can take my car off from this? <laughs> What, what role do you think the, the new media can play in educating the public at large on the right on the right of women and the society and the value of gender equality? I think that it's important to remember that uh, it's not questionable that that um, men women want to show that they are as good as men. It's more questionable that all the capacity we have in this more than 40, uh, 50 percent of the population of the world, the women that that capacity should be taken care of. Uh, the intelligence, uh, the uh, ability to do a lot of things, and also a little bit different thinking, because at least my um, experience is that women are thinking more at the families, um, the education of the children, uh, the children care, and therefore also in national decisions and, and legislation, these views must come true. So we need the women for the total, for the nation as a whole, not just for that we women, we want to, to be as good as the men. Yeah. Final question, uh, what relationship do you see between women empowerment and gender equality? Uh, of course, it is uh, a lot of uh, similarity in this, because uh, if we don't um, give uh, women the possibilities and empower them, then there can't be the, the equal uh, opportunities either for them. So, so we have to work on many, many fronts. And I think it's natural, very natural. I'm so pleased about what is happening in Africa. Because now Ellen Johnson certainly is not the only president. We have also in Malawi a female president. African Union newly has elected a woman as the president of the African Union. That's, That's exceptional and wonderful. Those are signs that give role models that shows to, to the women of uh, the African continent that they could do that, then we can do it too. Yeah, because recently, you know, even the president of Malawi is a, is a woman and uh, yes. in uh, Liberia, and uh, I can see that many people now are not trying to keep the women in their attention, the empowerment for them to take yeah. over. Yeah. You know, and I begin to realize that. Uh, You know, there's a, a positive outcome you know, in, their, in their ruling. I really appreciate you know, that everything is working. And you know, what, what resources do you think we would need to keep promoting the values of gender equality and their practicality? I, I wonder if there is anything more important than to show that, <laughs> that women are really doing a very serious work and something that I at least been struck by that women are not corrupted in the same way as men are. Because corruption and power uh, is something that is not good to be combined. And unfortunately, there is too much still about the corruption. And it is more the men who has been corrupted. 
I know that an adjunct society has been fighting a lot against this. Many other presidents have been fighting against the corruption. Uh, that uh, is also like in, in uh, the Balkan states, we had a war. After a war, there seems to be much more of a corruption. But women have not been involved in the same way. And I hope they don't don't become involved either because then we know that they can trust the women, that they are working for the common good and not for themselves. Then it's good. Yes, but what advice do you have for girls for the entire women and precisely African women? That uh, don't ever be afraid of taking new positions. I know for myself that sometimes I've been very weak in my knees when I have, for, for instance, when I was appointed to be the defense minister of Finland, I, for a second I thought that, oh, now I had taken, stepping in two big boots. But uh, I thought, I will show them. And that is what the African women should do too, that we will show them we are able to do this, we are able to take responsibility for the future of our own country. Thank you, Mr. Thank you.